I worked here for three years. We do a really cool gingerbread house every single year. And then I uh, was transferred to Miami. I really wanted to do the Smithsonian Castle and I never got a chance to do it. So now that I'm back in town, it's uh, my first uh, sculpture. So I work right here on the marble and then I'm constantly turning around and seeing my maps or all my, I call it the map room, but it's uh, just a bunch of pictures, aerial shots, close-ups. I've got a bunch of neat little cutters that I buy uh, at like Michael's at a, in the clay section. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to score it. I'm just going to lightly push it in just to kind of give me the area where I want these windows to go. So what I'll do is I'll partially bake it and then I'll take it out of the oven and we'll, we'll cut the windows out completely. Oh, there's just little pieces of gingerbread, you know, kind of hanging everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel and I go through and make these things absolutely perfect. It's exactly like sawdust. My dog loves me when I come home because I'm coated in gingerbread. And I just want to make sure I get all the, the gingerbread dust off before I pour the windows just so that they stick. I just have some yellow, yellow sugar here that I'll cook to really high temperature, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm just going to fill very carefully all the windows. So this will take about 10, 15 minutes to actually dry hard. Okay. And then, uh, then I'll put it together later. The tree is made out of chocolate and then it's, it's, sprayed, with, uh, it's sprayed with a chocolate that's a little bit colored. It gives it kind of a fu uh, fuzzy texture. Kind of looks like snow, fresh snow on a, on, a, on a pine tree. All said and done, we'll probably put it in about 150, 160 hours. Well, you know what? That'd be great if I had my piece in the Smithsonian. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to make some phone calls.